Sometimes you've got to put in some weird pipe, maybe some rolled pipe or a mitered pipe or something like that. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So this video came from a question in the comments. They want to know how to do mitered pipe. Uh, so I just thought I'd kind of um, do the miter pipe and also do the uh, rolled pipe. And I might just go ahead and do the bent pipe. Now I do have an older video with the bent pipe, uh, but uh, I'll go ahead and put it in this one also. So we're gonna start off with the miter pipe. It's very similar to the tubing, so it's not that complicated. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a quick line uh, so that way we're not drawing at zero, zero, zero or zero elevation. We're going to just draw, come from here. Okay. So for demonstration purposes, I went ahead and rotated this into a plan view. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a P line. So just a P line and we're going to come from our construction line. And we're going to say this is three foot and then this is, you know, 48 inches. Okay. So now you know, and let's go up to, you know, 60. Okay. So now we've got our P line right here. And what we want to do is we want to type in M pipe, enter. Okay. Select the default component. You know, we're just going to hit enter and we're going to select our um, polyline. Now, what I'm going to do is zoom in here. And you can see that it has made a mitered pipe between these two and this one over here because the, the P line was already joined. Now, you might not want just a single P line right here or a single, single miter. You might want to have multiple. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out of this real quick. And we're going to actually chamfer this, um, you know, uh, P line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, what's our distance? Let's say we want to do, um, you know, 12 inches. Okay. And then select our line. So we're going to do that one and we're going to do this again. Um, let's see. And we're going to do here and here. Okay, and you know, we're not going to repeat chamfer, and then we're just going to do M pipe again. Select our pipe, and now we've got you know a bend right here. So you might have to manually make your uh, miter um, connections if you need to do it on the fly. Uh, if not, you could get your CAD administrator to do it. So the next thing we're going to do is our rolled pipe. Uh, we're going to use a spline for this one. So spline. Okay. Pick your point, pick it out, rotate this thing, do some pretty shapes with it and get an arc or, you know, whatever you like. And we're going to do M pipe for this one. We're going to select our spline. And now we got a rolled piece of pipe. This comes in very handy for like, um, you know, flex hoses or uh, where you've got to go, you know, down some weird angle. Um, and you've just got this really nice arc going on. Yeah. So the last one I want to go over is your uh, pipe bends. Uh, in this command, you'll use one that's called bent. Um, this one, you don't have to do a, a polyline or a 3D polyline or a spline. It's actually better if you use a, um, you know, just regular construction lines. So what you'll do is you'll type in, you know, line, just like in normal AutoCAD. Um, and you're going to, you know, draw your line, draw your route on your pipe. Okay. And so now instead of a chamfer, we're going to use a fillet. Okay. So we're going to fillet these 
command um, arch right here. And so we're going to do multiple because we got multiple. And we're going to click this guy and we're going to click this one and then this one and this one. Okay. And we're going to hit enter. And now we're going to place our um, pipe bend. And you'll do that by typing in bent. So that's B E N T. Enter. Okay. Um, we're going to select default. And then it says. Trimmed elbow or select arc. We're going to select arc. That's the default. Okay. So if we hit enter and we're going to select our bent pipe here or uh, our arc right here. Now it comes in and says, what's your tangent? So um, most pipe bends have a tangent on the end. It could be six inches. It could be 12 inches. It just depends on, you know, the manufacturer it depends on the diameter of the pipe. Um, you know, let's say six inches on this one. So we're going to say six. Okay. And if we come over here, you will see that now we have a uh, pipe bend with a six inch tangent off the back of it. Uh, and then you just kind of go through this and do your pipe bends through your uh, arcs. So hopefully that helps you create some interesting pipes inside of CADWorks, whether it's a mitered pipe or a rolled pipe or even, uh, a, you know, pipe bend. Um, remember to like, share and subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like for me to uh, cover, please put a comment down below and I'll try to get it into the list and get it out as soon as I possibly can. So until next time.